are back for the final match of GSL Code S today. Group D, Hyun escapes to the round of 16. Yes, he does, Tasteless. And, uh, Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry, what did Yoda. I say, Hyun? Yoda. I'm bad today. I'm bad at my job. I don't know, I don't know guys. I'm just going to go home, yeah. take a cold shower, and cry. You should. Cry um, in the shower. It's supposed to be hot for that, though. Huh? We don't want you catch a cold. That would be bad. Well, I could, I, theoretically, I could just catch a cold and be fine. I have a few days off anyways after this. That's true. But you have to come to my party, and then you get everyone in eSports sick. That's true. Imagine if I got some kind of terrible, like, uh, I don't know, plague-like virus that killed everybody at your little Halloween party tomorrow. It would kill me. It would kill you, too. No. You would probably be the first to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'd die before you. Yeah, man. Your skin would fall off, and you'd die. But think about that. eSports would just die artosis. Yeah, I guess so it would. It's like we were on that plane, remember? Uh, with all the Korean players all, and us. All the Korean players and us going to MLG. We're like, well, if this plane crashes, eSports just goes away. <laughs> all the uh, all the other programmers that are on the plane just cheer. They're like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, Hyun and uh, Gumi Hill. Now, I, I have to say, I don't feel like Hyun uh, is playing poorly today. I think he got outclassed. I feel like Hyun, I mean, uh, excuse me, Gumi Hill, however, uh, is playing poorly compared to what we're used to seeing. I think he's making bad decisions for which builds he's choosing to use, and I feel like his execution has been a little bit sloppier. Well, we'll see if he can do better here against Hyun. You know, that was a TVT. Let's see if his TVZ is going to look any nicer. You know, his multitasking can really help out in TVZ quite a bit. I've definitely seen him do some impressive things, dropping like five locations at once in this matchup. Will he be able to get there, though, in a reasonable position? Because first map's Abyssal City. It's a big one. That's one that Hyun's got to feel pretty decent on. All right. Abyssal City it is. Good map for Zerg. Wide and open. But you never know. Big maps can uh, leave an opening here for somebody like Gumiho to do a lot of harass. Let's do this. All right. The final best of three begins now. Let's do this. Center right. We've got our Zerg player. If he wins this, he escapes to the round of 16. If he loses, he's out of code S. He is. TSL Hyun. I guess that doesn't leave me a good opener for the uh, next intro. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. <laughs> same situation. Uh, over here in the left, we have the Tal Terran. Not playing so well today. Let's see if he can do better this time. He is. FXO Gumiho. It rhymes. Yeah, I guess it does. FXO Gumiho. We're going to make a StarCraft hip hop song. You could use his name. <laughs> yeah. I never finished uh, my fake hip hop song for you. You were making a fake hip hop song? Like it was, It's like a skit I have in my mind of like you like with a like bandana on. Oh, yeah? And you're like, they call me the Tosis. My back's got scoliosis. You play StarCraft, or you watch me cast StarCraft 2, we'll learn through osmosis. And I had a whole bunch of other lyrics I was going to write down. This is what I do on the subway if I, if I forget to bring a book. Yeah, you do make some good little tunes occasionally. I Maybe do. not that one, but... That was a good one, man. I don't know. And see the imagery in my mind is you with that bandana, and you're like rapping, like hardcore, waving your other hand around in the air with the fingers pointed down. I do that a lot. Yeah, man. You just see Artosis when he's mad after he lost his StarCraft game and him ranting. The, like, it, the only thing that would fit it better would be if he had a, 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 hand, like a pistol in his hand waving <laughs> it around as he's ranting. Like, you know, I get crazy at times. <laughs> I guess do. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, drone got in here. Yun always drone scouting. He's going to steal a mineral now. Five minerals, in fact. Five of them. Not just one. Now... We do have Hyun getting pretty quick uh, gas once again. I think it's just going to be for speed. I think he's trying to play it pretty safe here, where he's getting speed quickly each game. We're actually seeing more and more Zergs do this against Terran. Uh, sometimes Terran leaves himself open to some speedlings messing him up a little bit, maybe delaying mining time at that natural expansion. 
Um, command center on the way now. Uh, and the drone is going to be gunned down here momentarily. Now, you know, I, by the way, oh, he, did you see the gas? I think uh, he did. Did you saw see both? One. Okay, it would be better if you saw both. But you know, actually, that the same gas is taken because there's not a single build door that goes uh, barracks, command center, one gas. It just doesn't exist. So, yeah. He could safely assume. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the SCV is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the SCV is uh, headed back now towards uh, Gumiho's base. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Hyun is actually mining more than 100 gas. He's already started speed. He's still mining three drones on gas. So he has something planned here. Not sure exactly what it is. It's a little bit weird, though, because he saw the gas. So he should know that reactor hellions are going to be on the way. Would he... I think he's going to go quick layer because I I feel like a roach attack on this map, not as good. It's just so far for those Who else did we see go quick layer on this map? We've seen a few other Zerks do this. Uh, was life, it Lee maybe? Knock? Lee Knock maybe? Uh, I think it was Life. Am I wrong? Could, it, it could be. Some maybe, of these games are maybe. a big blur in my mind. It is a pretty quick layer, though. And so he so he's probably going to go for either quick and faster or quick Mina. Yeah. And really, I could see either one being good here. I mean, Fester, always a strong choice. They're such a great late game unit, but then again, there's a lot of area to cover against Mutalisks. There is a lot. Mm -hmm. Immunas are fast. I mean, if you're going to push, you could easily pick off uh, reinforcements with the Mutas. Oh my god, Gumio's going double starport. He's going to go so sick. quick Banshees. You know what? If he goes two starport Banshee uh, against Quick Lair, I Infester, think he's going to lose. Well, if it's Infester, I think he's going to win. If it's Muta, I think he's going to lose. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's my the, thought. That's the that. way you feel, Artosis. Nobody so, can take that away from you. I guess they could if they, uh, you know, sedated me, opened my skull, and took out the part of my brain that thinks that. Thank God that's not going to happen. We hope not, Tasis. You never I know. I can't cast with lobotomy there. artosis. <laughs> Be about the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Double tech lab it is. All right. Mass Banshee's on the way. This is an underused build. Well, it was more common uh, last year, mm -hmm. and it sort of went away because people just... Uh, preempted the defense for it, but since yeah. it's not a style now, it's not as uh, popular in the metagame. And you know what? That that also, uh, with how popular Infestors are, it's uh, good against Infestor. If you just go Infestor against someone that goes to Port Banshee, oftentimes you just lose. Banshees come over, you don't have enough Fungals to kill them off, uh, you don't have enough Queens and all that. But in this time, he's gone two-base uh, Spire, so I mean, that's the perfect counter to this. The perfect counter. Alright, aliens are coming in now. And going up the ramp. Oh, God. He's going to scout. Exactly. Okay, he knows exactly what's going on. So he has time to uh, uh, set up the necessary defense. Yeah, I don't know that he'll make any more than the two Banshees. Probably I think it's not. just yep. going to be the two Banshees. Yeah, he's already making a Raven. And you know what? He has to decide what to do from here. Uh, does he make some Vikings, maybe? Uh, well, I think he has to make a few. Yeah, I think just he does. Because like, he, maybe three? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And then just like sw switch out of that into... Um, what I assume is going to be a Marine uh, Siege Tank Medivac. Agreed. Well, the Banshee's going to hit some lanes out here. I mean, may as well. There's I don't even know why he's sending it actually over there. I would actually... Got to do something with it, right? Uh, it's so expensive, I almost feel like it's better to just keep it with your arm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It does add a lot of damage. It does do a lot of damage, yeah. Well, here we go. Some nice Hellion hits over here on the drones. And, in fact, with the Mutas popping out, though... Banshees. Oh, the Banshees in the main base actually killing a few. Right. So he's just going to give up these Banshees and, and get some drones instead here. And the Hellions did a good job as well. So he's actually killed 18 drones. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. He is making some Vikings at home, getting some turrets up as well. He does have a Raven out already, which is very interesting. Right. And I think he's going to actually go into like some sort of mech. Some sort of mech. Because he only has one barracks still. Not upgrading on his eBay. Uh, you know, he continues to make Vikings. I don't know what type of mech this would be that he would go into, but I think it, I think it, it will be something. I don't know what Gumio is doing. It's weird. We have more factories coming down here. Ah, there you go. Uh, he can't really get in there with that turret, but he can get this uh, refinery here. Now, uh, with that uh, Hellion, it was killed off, but he, Gumio did see Hyun's third base, so he can confirm that that's been taken. He could assume it too, but it's just... The confirmation is uh, a little bit better. And, well, 
Kumiho going into mech here. It is a big map for mech, and Hyun with the mutas is going to realize exactly what's going on, so he sees now exactly what's happening. And, and uh, that means that he can actually counter this correctly. He's you know? still making Vikings. This is kind of weird. Yeah, I, that it is. You know what? I think he doesn't want to make Thors, maybe. Maybe he wants to go just into Hellion tank and uh, utilize Vikings to take out all the uh, mutas. I guess he feels like Hellion... Uh, 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 Thor or something like that, the Zerg could switch into Roaches too quickly. Yeah. Because he didn't you know, have a lot of factories. If you're going so. Heavy Siege Shank, yeah, uh, you can stop the Thor, uh, the Roaches. And if, when you scout this as Zerg, you've already gone Mutas, their mech is late. You can just go Roaches and feel really good about your position in the game. So, right. yeah, I think that is what's maybe going on. He's, he's making a single Thor right now. I'm not surprised about that. You should have that single Thor. But I don't think he'll actually make more than one Thor. All right, uh, and you know what, what's interesting about this is if you look at how many second overlords Thor. are all over the map. <laughs> yeah, second Thor. If you look at how many overlords are all over the map, if he gets a big enough Viking count and pushes out, hmm. he can drive the mutas away and kill all uh, of these um, overlords. overlords, and just it's going to be lights out for Zerg. It's true. Uh, I'm a little bit worried for him though because okay, you know what? He's got the Roachron, but now he's getting the melee upgrade. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this. What is happening, Artosis? I'm getting a little bit confused because. This is hard to call. Uh, you don't want Lings against Thor Hellion, really. I mean, with Infestor, you can kind of make it work for a little bit, but you really want Roaches. Uh, and maybe Hyun is thinking what we were saying where, oh, maybe he's going tanks, that's why he's making so many Vikings. But he just might want the Vikings for now, just for, you know, spotting, for picking off Overlords, as you said, for. He's going to need him in the late game, likely, anyways, against Broodlords. I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. All right, Hellion's coming up now. And uh, he's going to see the fort that's taken. Now, he's going to have to get these Hellions out of here because these Mutas can do a lot of damage. Uh, we don't see the Vikings coming out here with this, so he's clearly not confident in his Viking count. Well, he is starting to move out with the Vikings okay. a little bit. We'll see. Uh, maybe he'll draw the Mutas into the Vikings. These Vikings with such long, long, <laughs> long range, we'll be able to kill a few. Kill one and so that muta body part fly up <laughs> past the camera. I love that you can do stuff like that with the editor on this. Yeah, it's really cool. And did you see what the new patch for the beta is? No. Okay, they were releasing a new patch where there's going to be new death animations where, like, if a unit dies near a cliff, they can fall down it. Oh, and stuff like that. I love stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait to see it. Oh. I don't think it actually went live yet. I didn't actually. Well, you know, because, check, I mean, the animation's already cool, like when you kill the queen. Actually, nothing's more epic than killing a Nidus Worm with a Hellion. But um, <laughs> just the, the, the fact that you have. Um, because, you know, StarCraft's already so exciting, and it already looks great, but then if you just bring it to the second epic level, mm -hmm. you know. That will definitely be very cool. Well, all right, so Gumiho adding command centers, getting his upgrades. He is getting siege shanks at this point. Stopped at four Thors for now. Mixing in some Banshees as well, but the Banshees are going to have a hard time because there are still a good amount of mutas out. Yep. I like how uh, Hyun's playing this, I have to say. I like how Gumiho's playing this, too. It, it, yeah. Gumiho's like, just so interesting. He is. And uh -oh, fungal. beautiful fungal. I don't know why he's attacking that with Zerglings, but okay. Yeah. That was a little again. sloppy. Yep. But he will kill all these, and that's really good for him. Zergling's not the most important thing right this second. But uh, Kumiho's going to have a hard time ever getting across this map. The Hive is actually going to be finishing pretty soon here, and his upgrades mean that he can, because he's getting two for, two for Zerglings right now, he can, well, hold on, and we'll talk about that in a second. Pushing forward with a tiny army, but... I guess he has some bungles. I don't know what he's doing, actually. This is a total disaster. And he's not even running away with the uh, investors, which is painful to watch. That this, is this, weird. Hurt, this hurts me to watch, guys. That was a, that was a weird choice. And now he's going to lose a lot of the investors because of the Banshees. And I don't know if this is a bad rally or what is going on. But yeah, okay, Lings are turning around now. That was such a small army. I can't imagine that killing anything at any point in the game. Uh, I don't understand the thought process of that. Against Mac. Yeah. That was weird. Um, but yeah, that's... Well, that's the first real blunder I think we've seen this game from either player. Right. And their supplies are dead even now. Fourth command center on the way. Yeah. He went down and he lost four infestors during all that. That's pretty brutal. He damaged some stuff and killed a Thor. So I guess that's nice. There you go. Yeah. So Put a little kinda... positive spin on that's that, right. Artosis. All right. Well, you know, Hyun 
his economy right now, 71 drones. It's, I mean, that's pretty good. A lot of times against Mech, you want to go a little bit higher than that just to get a real huge amount of money out because you're probably going to lose multiple armies. And, uh, yeah, this army of Gumiho is a little bit weird on composition-wise. Let's take a look at it. It's six tanks, two Thors, six Banshees, eight Vikings, 13 Hellions, and a Raven. That's... I feel like... Like... Some investors backed up by a ton of roaches would just be very good against this conflict. Um, Hyun's looking pretty good despite that blunder early on. This is I, you know, I, I'm trying to figure out if what Gumiho did is for his unit mix uh, composition is good or not. What, what, what? He's walked these queens across. I think he's going to throw it on creep tillers, or it's a huge misclick. It would be so um, cool if he actually was just like, well, I'm going to make creep over here and spread it everywhere. That would be smart. It's going to be, be much really harder to get a fourth. But those, no, that was a misclick on those queens. That's a huge mistake. Yeah, that's four queens. That oh, you know what? No, never mind. Ah, it's not. Okay, he's going to he's gonna push with blue yeah. boys from down here. Yeah. We got it. Okay. High five our toes. High we five. Got it, man. Okay. Um, it looks like now, uh, I think honestly, <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> This is so cool. Excuse I can't me. believe he's hiding his queens down here for this. this is yeah, so this neat. is super smart. Um, but is it even a good idea to go for Broodlords? He already made the Vikings. Wouldn't it be better to just go for Ultralisks? I know what you mean, yeah. I, it, I would it just prefer like Ultralisks right now. Just the thing knowing. is, if your opponent stays turtled up against Ultras, the Ultras can't do anything, and they can just keep on building what they have. So I, I guess in that way, the Ultras are not as good. All right, Fungal's being thrown down here. He's got to be careful. He does want to keep some energy on these Infestors for the upcoming next attack. Oh, he's got to be careful about that, but he's actually going to go ahead in here and actually battle against these Vikings. Looks like he wants to reduce their count before he actually goes for the Broodlords. And this attack doing better than the last one, at least, but still... Oh, no, wait, the Roaches did... I didn't even see those under the Viking cloud. Kind of an odd exchange there. Yeah, that was a weird battle. <laughs> This is one of the weirder games that we've this seen. Is, yeah, this game is a little bit out there. All right, uh, nice. Getting the Banshees down over here. And this is what we were talking about with this composition being weak against Roaches. Yep. You have a lot of Infestors and Roaches that can just take something like this out. Oh, All right, God. This is not Vikings good because if he lands the Vikings, Roaches are very strong against Vikings. And, and on top of that, Broodlords are on the way, so he's not going to be... All right, he's like, well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Picks up again. This is a decent amount of it. Now, the Banshee will clean this up, but not all that quickly. Look at this. The Queen's going to catch these Banshees in the middle of nowhere. How confused is Gumi at this moment? He's like, what is he doing? Trying to creep, spread creep down there? No, no, no. Oh, he's going to push from down there, just like us. Just like us. Um, well, uh, you know, Hyun is not really being touched. Yeah. For about the past, uh, what, eight minutes or so, it's really just been Gumi Ho trying to come out and Hyun denying it. Yeah. But look at the supply. Uh, we are a bit lower on Hyun. He does have a big bank, though, so he can make a decent amount of units right away. Looks like he is going to go for the Broodlords. Um, well, yo, again, uh, Gumiho just trying to clean up whatever's at his third. Uh, I am predicting Gumiho losing this at this point in time. I think he uh, could push out, but... Um, let me check how many starports he has. I sure. feel like that's... I do he still feel like Gun should have gone for Ultralisks, though. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, no, I, 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 I can't disagree. Um, anyways, he is going to take out this base. I think Gumio sells a shot, but this is not, like, I don't know if I like this attack so much. I feel like there's no way Zerg doesn't have an army right now that can take out that group of units. I don't like the idea of the fact that he's leaving Hellions to kill a hatchery. This takes forever, but yeah. I guess uh, Gun's giving it up. Well, yeah, it's... What a weird, weird game. I mean, Gumiho does have a strong uh, supply lead at the moment. He's doing a good job by continuing to take out bases. But, I mean, he's he's taking some risks. Like, all those tanks and Thors out in the middle of the map, he could have killed that off. All right, the tank's been taken out. I like this creep uh, on other expansions as well as burrowing roaches. Um... You know, it's interesting to see that Gumio has been maxed out or almost maxed out for most of this uh, yeah. late game, whereas uh, Hyun's been stuck in around 115, 160-ish. Yeah. yeah. Well, Hyun is really trying to... He's investing in, like, Lings and late game units. So the Lings are eating up a lot of minerals and dying off. But, you know what? He is getting a decent late game army. Thank right. God he scouted that base. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, you do sub minerals there. It's All right, like, oh just God. had to know. Take these two overseers. Um, well, we see a push now coming out here. <laughs> is, is he not pushing with most of his army? Does he have more back at home? I'm like confused by this. So when I oh, see these pushes that Gumiho, we're seeing, yeah, I see Gumiho moving out, and I'm like, that's not a max out there. He's leaving a lot of units at home, and that's that's what I keep questioning. Even yeah. though he has, and now he has two armies lead. moving across the map, and I'm thinking Zerg's a faster race. What they can yeah. just kill one and then kill the other. And they both go on the like creep areas as well. And I know it's a broodlord army, but still, with infestors and lanes, you should be able to get there and take them out. I'd say. And uh, now Queens versus the Mech Army down here. Hellions coming in here though, hitting a lot of drones. Anytime he did knock out one of the armies, and now Gumiho, some of this multitask attacks, multi drone attacks rather. It's funny to see Gumiho play job. like Gumiho with Mech. Yeah. You know what I mean? And without like Medivac, so he's not even using Banshees really. He's actually just walking around the map with two different small Mech Armies. I feel like Hyun is just not necessarily handling this all I that well. I think Hyun's well. caught off guard by the the, the movement like, here. You know what is interesting though is he's going Broodlords and that's why this is working because the Broodlords are slow because this type of thing if your opponent just has a bunch of roaches dies you lose the game because you're doing it but he's making it work out and just killed a lot more drones. I mean at this point Gumio's killed 54 drones. Yeah. Um, well I maybe Hyun is gonna lose this. I'm, I'm this is so weird like look here there's four Thors just attacking down here Okay, I and mean, again, that's it, like I guess a it's weird gonna work. army yeah. size. Like, do you feel like. I mean, he is running Hyun all over the place. He's running him ragged. And in fact, as he's going out to deal with these Thors, Gumio is going for another attack into the natural. This is so cool. It's I, cool. I guess this it's, works, but I feel like Hyun should be able to handle this. Just like anybody with, you know, a good amount of StarCraft uh, game theory would be like, well, this isn't supposed to really. Well, the most efficient way to you do know, it. this is this is part of Gumiho's strength here. He's quicker than other players. He can he can do attacks like this and get value out of them all game long. But do notice that his supply is slipping a little bit. He's almost maxed, about 20 supply down. And he doesn't have a big bank. Sure, he's killing off some hatches and drones here and there, but Hyun isn't losing his army units at least. Oh my god, he only has 21 drones. Ooh, I think Hyun's dead nerd, man. Might be. He's lost 70 drones so far. This and he's going to lose some more right here. Whoop. No, he's not. They burrowed. There. That's where he's going to lose some more. And now retreating. Those bird leads will burn out, as you can see here. Um, <laughs> what a weird game, man. Yeah. All right. I think all uh, Gumiho has to do now is remake uh, his, mech, his, his mech army, excuse me. Uh, and then just and make a bunch of Vikings and then just attack mm. uh, into that center, uh, kind of middle center right. Oh, you know what's kind of funny? He what? got Raven energy, but no Seeker missiles. Oh, that's And he's so making funny. Ravens now. Uh, also, to know, Hyun, even though his supply is bad and uh, he's got very few drones and he's lost a lot of hatcheries, he does have a huge flock of corruptors, a good amount of queens. A gaggle of corruptors. Yeah, he only has three infestors, which is kind of rough. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? The army of Gumiho is just good enough against this. He's got the 17 Vikings. That's 17 Vikings plus nine Thors right now. I don't think Young can break through How that. How many infestors does Zerg have? He has like three. Uh, five now. Five now. Uh, that's Unless you had perfect fungals. Even if you Even then, with that, fungals, that number like, of Vikings, everything dies before. If they spread them? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. All right, Barrowed Roach here. And Probably don't forget play. that uh, with the Ravens that he has out, especially with that energy upgrade, he's going to be able to do things like point defense drone. Roach is healing while being burrowed. Yeah. He heals quicker than he gets damage. <laughs> that is so funny. I guess we all just learned something there. That yeah. That's actually how fast the road shields. You can't kill that with six SCVs. Especially with the three armor. All right, the uh, one Thor's picked up. Oh my god, but more Hellions here putting up drones. Oh, the drone man. count is 19 Artosis. 19. That is so rough. Hyun having a very hard time holding on here. Well. Ugh. I think Hyun is just going to do a push. I think that's going to be it. He's making nine roaches. Yeah, that yeah he's just trying to end this game. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Well, let's see if he can this do it. It's so big, our screen can't even capture it. He needs to be hitting these uh, transfusions really well. 
The Corruptors are coming up and dealing quite a bit, but this is just so many Vikings in a huge yeah. arc. So many transfusions, but the Banshees can clean up everything on the ground here, so these queens are not that useful. Yeah. And that's going to be GG here. There is no way now for Hyun to recover. So much metal stuff floating out here on this gravity reversal here on this map. And um, yeah, I mean, this is essentially over, guys. It's circuit 46 supply to 112. Or 21, excuse me. Yeah, um, yeah, Hyun is completely dead at this point. What? This has been the weirdest TVZ game that I have seen in a long time. I don't even remember the last weird game I saw now. Now that I've seen this weird game. This is a game I, 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 I want to like, re rewatch, you know, like, the way it moved out. I do feel like Hyun sort of messed up. Um, this is, it, it, it was so unbelievably weird. We're actually watching Landed Vikings kill a Zerg. Like, he was going Vikings all game long. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? Hyun definitely made some mistakes. Yeah, he should have so. gone for the Ultras. He he should have not GG. stuck to Brutal. He was so sticking hard. to what standard ZB's, ZBT metagame is, but you got to adapt to your opponent. Gumi Ho, whoa. Big sigh of relief. Yep. He only has to win one more. Coach Choya going in there. Give him a little back rub. Yeah, I want uh, back rub. You want back rub? I love it. Give me a little squeeze. Uh, you don't have like. I, I don't, don't have big. See, here's the thing: when I want a massage, I actually want like a dude to do it. Like some with big dude man hands, like hands the size of baseball gloves. Oh, yeah. Squeeze a little lactic acid in my neck. Because here's the thing: is like a lot of a lot of girls get bad back rubs. In my do experience, in my, maybe I just have bad luck, but. I don't know. Well, I have like a really messed up back, man. I need to squeeze all that lactic acid out. Anyways, enough about me and my back, and on to this tournament. Um, well, Hyun's gonna have to win the next two. Hyun, I know he's really good. I don't feel like he's playing to what we're. I don't think he's. Um, well, he's as know, good as his legendary status. I know, and you uh, know, a lot of that legendary status is from the ridiculous amount of online tournaments he plays. Sure. But the tournaments he's playing, there's a different style involved. A because it's online. Uh, B, because a lot of it is cross-server against right. players that are not top-end Koreans, whereas Kumio is a player that, uh, you know, it's going to be doing a lot more practice time instead of showing up for matches and playing sure. those out. When sure. you're playing tournaments, you actually don't get as much practice because it takes so long to sit around, wait for your opponent, stuff like that. Sure. So you got to remember that as well. Uh, so, you know, if uh, Hyun's going to win this, or come out of this, I should say, he has to win the next uh, two games. Yes. Gumi only needs one. And uh, I guess after this five-minute break, we're going to have uh, game number two. It's going to be it's a short day. What time is it? It's 8.27 right now. So, very short day. Uh, anyways, uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh, no break. Excuse me. I was wondering. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry. Are we really going to go to I thought, break? I thought I heard it closing in my ear. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, uh, so it looks like uh, we're going to go straight into game number two. Excuse me. Um, Gumi Ho and Hyun. Um, what is the map? Daybreak. Okay. Daybreak. Oh, good choice. I mean, that's uh, a lot of standard players will choose that. And Hyun leaving for now. Looks like he's going to get a little pep talk. Not going well for him. you got to buy against Rain. Right. Who is arguably the best player in the group. Uh, and then he, he lost to Yoda. Who's... What a lot of people thought would probably get last. And I did. now he's down the first game on a pretty big map against Kumiho. So Hyun might just bomb out of this Code S. It's a possibility. <sighs> Code S is pretty competitive. People are pretty good. Um, yeah, so I assume he's either getting a pep talk or he's running to the restroom. Yeah, he, he ran into the restroom with his friends. So I think he's doing both. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. That's how we do it. Oh, we always talk through stalls. Oh, yeah. Of course. We always line up in urinals next to each other too. If there's three, you don't. No. Sometimes if don't there's two. We just us. both use one. Yeah, that's how. Whatever that's how real do, casting it saves water, <laughs> yeah. helping the environment. Yeah, friends forever. Yes, friends. Friends forever. Um, so, daybreak. Uh, what is Gumio gonna do? You think he's gonna mech? I think he's it's, not going to mech. It's so hard actually. to tell what Gumio's ever gonna do, right? Uh, he's pretty unpredictable. I could see him going mech. I could see it. Sure. Uh, another two port build. I can't see him doing that again in a series, but I think it would be really good here. Because what's the odds that Hyun's going to go two base Muta on Daybreak? Do you think there's any chance of cheese here from Gumi Ho? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he knows that Hyun's a really good player. So what if he mixed that in? What if he went double 11 Proxy Rex? I mean, sometimes you just get a free win because of that. It's good. 
All right, Hyun's back. If he loses, he's uh, I mean, if you lose, oh, there he goes. There he goes. See, he's that's a nerd back trot right there. Yeah, that's how nerds run right there. <laughs> what was that thing we were talking about? Nerds aren't good at walking. Oh yeah, Remember yeah. Remember, see, like at the close, at the closing ceremonies for like any esports event, like they bring out the champ, and he's always like walking with the yeah. nerd back. We have it too, man. We're playing computer games all day. Yeah. I just look forward to the day. No, when I, I walk, walk like with a the ballet kid. dancer, tasteless. What are you talking about? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. I've seen you. You could spin a top on my head. I'm just. I'm such a good walker. We're like we could never balance books on our heads and move no, around. Probably not. I could maybe balance it, but be down like this, like be on the back of my head. It would make my neck sore. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, I'm all used to a headset being on my head. <laughs> All right, guys, game number two. Uh, Hyun against Gumiho. Gumiho looking pretty solid. I think he, I think he really pulled it together after uh, that TVT that he lost. Yeah, I think so, too. He stepped it up. I, it, that didn't look like Gumiho to me. I'm no. so used to him being like a, a top-end Terran with his own way to play. Right. Uh, so that, that looked much more like him. Now I want to see Hyun, though, Tasteless. It's time to see his skill bust out. Let's see if Hyun can bring it back and live up to his name. Or if Gumiho, six-time GSL code asses in a row, is going to move on to the round of 16. Let's do this. Let's do this.